Hello guys, here is Ahmed and here is a new video on MATLAB Simulink. I want to precise something. I don't work for or with MathWorks. I don't get money from MathWorks. This video is for students who want to use MATLAB in their work and study. You can use other languages like Python, Julia, etc. So you are free to use any other language. And feel free to contact me, subscribe to this channel, to, and to like these videos, and to comment in constructive ways. Thank you. Let us go now to the interface of MATLAB. Here, where in the editor you write your script. Here is the workspace where are the memory. Here is the current path and the current folder where you put your files. In the command window, you can use, use it to see the data. If you will plot something, when you plot something, you will get some a figure like this. And when you want to run your program or your script, you have to click on this small uh, green triangle. If you want to run a section here, you have to click on run, se run section where you can click these cells. And if you want to make a comment here, you can use double percentage to make titles or percentage. Let us go to the direct application and see how we use MATLAB. So here is the interface of MATLAB. As you know, there is a new open simulink and everything. You can have plot and here are the applications that you can install. In our tutorial here, we will use first common command window. So we have to verify our version. Here is the version that is installed in my computer. Here we have a lot of toolboxes and many things. I can store 1 in x, x equal 1. I can store 2 in y. In z equal x plus y, I will get 3. If I want to create another variable z1, I have two variables. Now, let us see some special functions used in MATLAB. For example, here once is to create 3 by 3 square matrix all of ones. Zeros is the inverse, a square matrix full of zeros, and the i is the identity matrix. So here, for example, I will start with zz is a vector. So as you see, using the semicolon to make a line vector or a column. And here I post the apostrophe to find the transpose. I can create matrix like in this example in this A. So here A. I want if I want to make the inverse of this matrix, I use the function inverse. As you see here, for example, the matrix is singular because the determinant is almost zero. If I want to find the third value of A, A33, I will get 9. Last line, I will use A3, the operator double points. A double points, double points, so I will get the whole matrix. Third column, so I will put A double points, three. Now I can use clear all to erase the workspace. I can go and find A again. So if I want, for example, to make the square of the matrix A, I put this head two. If I want to put to the square each element in the matrix A, I will have to use the dot operator dot hat 2. Here, i is the complex variable. Real min and real max 
are some variables in MATLAB to represent the largest and the lowest floating point representation. Elf is for infinity and nan is, as you see here, is not a number. I can use doc nan to find the documentation of any variable or any function in MATLAB. Let us give an example how to use our loop example. So you have to use for and and, and you have to use uh, a counter i, for example, here going from 1 to 10. In this example, I will take, uh, also show you how to use if. I can use pause in order just to to get some time to see what is happening in the for loop. So here I can also change the counter from 0 to 10, from 1 to 10. Uh, and you can I put less than or greater, greater. Here I will show another example how to draw a sign function. So I create a vector t going from 0 to 1 and y is sine of t. And then from 0 to 1 with a step uh, 0 0.01, I will put y OK here, it is not enough. So I will put 2 by and I will run this section and as you see I have this sine function going from 0 to, uh, to 2 by. I can change the x label, the y label. I can change the line style, the line width. I can put a legend and change the, to put that it is a sign for example. here. Okay, I want to plot like z equal to sine t, so I on the same figure, so I will use hold on. As you see here, I have the sine and the cosine on the same figure. I lost uh, uh, what I have done on the figure, so I will use MATLAB now to write the x label and the y label. So as you see I have here time and seconds and functions. The, and I can put the legend here, the blue is the sine and the red is the cosine function using MATLAB. If I want to draw another function, for example, let us take another vector x equal 0 with a step 0 0.01 that will go to 10. Y is the exponential of this x. I will put the initial value and put a decreasing exponential in another figure and I wrote x and y. Now I will show you how to find to make a personal function. So you go to new, new function. You change the name of the function is the output argument. A and B are the input arguments. For example, y is a to the power b. Then I can save this function in the same folder. I can use my example function in this uh, cell. So yy is this function. I will put three Five, so it is 3 to the power 5, it is 243, and I can verify using the command window that I get the same result. Just pay attention that the number of arguments must be expected. Let us go to simulink. So to go to simulink, for example, I will clear all and clean the window. I will go to the home and I click on simulink. I will open simulink. And as you see, I will create a new bag, and here it is empty. 
So what will happen here? So I will go to the library browser. As you see, there are a lot of libraries, continuous, discontinuous, discrete, sources, and string. So I will let you go into details. Depends on your version. So in continuous, for example, let us try to, to plot the transfer function, the response of a transfer function. Here I will make an order three. So for example, one, 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 two, one. So we have one over s squared plus two s plus one. So here I will put a second order system. So I will look for a step input. So I will put it will step time equal one, initial value equal zero, and final value equal ten. I want to see the response of my transfer function in an open loop. I will put a scope. I will get for the scope. As you see, here is the response. I can uh, improve the presentation. For example, I want to plot the input and the output of this transfer function on the same scope. So I get a mix. I will connect everything. And I, as you see here, the step response and the transfer function response. Okay, let us go and modify this open loop system. So here we have, for example, I want to make a closed loop with an integrator with a proportional. So I, here I will find a sum. Then I will change it to, to comparator plus minus. Then I will add, so here I will see and I will find that this is a closed loop without any uh, Proportional, I will look for again. I will, for example, I will put equal 10. Here I can zoom using this maximize. And here is the response of my system with a proportional uh, corrector. If I, if you, for example, want to use a PID, if there is an PID here. So as you see here, there we can change the form of the PID and uh, we can put the proportional P, the integrator I, and the derivative. You can change the structure, the controller. <coughs> I change the values, for example, the value with P equal 1, and then the value with P equal 10. Uh, the response change. Thank you. For more information, please see the description.